Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we're actually going to be working on, as you know it, side mirrors. And we're going to be installing them. Now, this is not going to be an in-depth video, like a step-by-step, -step, you watching me putting them together, yada yada. It's just something that you can do with the right amount of confidence. You can get this done yourself. It's not too difficult. You just got to have confidence, patience, and uh, you'll persevere at the very end. Now, my car is an 05 E55. So as, as you know, at 05 and before, they came with the pig ears is pretty much what I would call them. And they pretty much just stuck out like this. There was no angler. It was just one big mirror that stuck out and it just took in place of this whole frame right here. And that was basically it. After you get in between the 06, 07, and 08s, um, they, uh, some of the 06s did have the, the style where, um, actually no, I correct myself, I think it's 07 and 08 and 09 where they have the new style, which is the one uh, pretty much I'm currently putting on. Now, with that being said, from 06, 05, and 04, and 03, they had the Pigger style. Now, if you have between 03, 04, and 05, you will have to drill. That is the given. I can give you a reason why right now. So if you see these, these are the bolt placements. This one right here, this one right here, and this one right here, and these are the pegs where the old mirror would sit. These pegs are help for alignment when you're putting in the mirror. So they line up with the actual screw holes. And that's basically it. If you have an 06 model, there's gonna be if, my, if, if I'm correct, because I'm going based off of information that I've gathered that uh, some of my friends that actually have the 06, where they told me I didn't need to drill. In my, in my case, I needed to drill, and as you can see, I did. So this is a factory hole right here, and this is a factory hole. These other holes here, I had to drill to m put my mounting bolts. So that is something you will need to modify on your door. From what uh, some of my friends, uh, I would like to thank James for kind of helping me with this because he did uh, a little write-up and he, he did lend me his reader so I can go ahead and code in some things for this mirror. And we'll get more into that as we go along this video. But as you can tell here, I had to drill three holes. Was the worst, most uncomfortable thing, but I got it done and it works. And let me show you on the other side. As I do have the mirror in place. So here's the mirror in question. Obviously it doesn't have the mirror yet. Here is the installation from the front. And as you can see, it looks pretty damn good. Nice, good upgrade. Let me show you the back, which is the important part. I do have my door panel slightly off. I didn't take it off completely, but here are the placement bolts that I'm referring to. And I do apologize. The lighting does haze my camera a little bit. I am using my phone. So just bear with the quality for now. But as you can tell, I used three bolts with some washers in some places. This one I didn't need to because of the angle. It holds itself in, but these I did incorporate some bolts. And just like any other mirror, you tighten it until it's seated properly on the actual base, which you're going to see here. As you can see, the base is nicely seated all the way around and you just go evenly. Don't tighten one end too much. Tighten evenly, crisscross pattern, as you go, uh, as it pulls the mirror closer and hugs the actual door frame. So that's basically what you need to do to install something like this if you have an 03, 04, and 05. Now, costs, which is very important. This is not a cheap mod, at least for me, because there's two different options you can go with. You can have the option where you don't need to code anything and you can just install these power folding mirrors and then of course um, have the power folding switch which pretty much everything I'm talking about is going to be in the description below and it's going to be labeled and, and, and with links so you guys can uh, you know decide what you want to do is this switch right here and if you notice this switch has the power folding button. These are your standard left and right, which used to be one on each side, but now they're both on one side. And you have your standard so you can move your mirrors around. And then, of course, the power folding option. You don't need to code it if you go that route. You buy the power folding mirrors, get them painted to match your car, install them like how I specified here, 
And then, of course, you're going to uh, have to um, buy that Switch, which is about $100, shipped. And you can buy it from Amazon. Again, the part number will be in the description below where I bought it. Install it onto your door, which is relatively easy. Taking off your door panel and accessing the Switch from the back, swapping it out, plugging it in. Same thing for the side mirrors. They plug into the factory locations. No modification on that. And it works. That's the manual way. That's going to be your most cheapest option. For me, I lucked out because I had a very good friend who trusted me with his $2,000 scanner. Lucky me. I am grateful for that. Thank you, James Fly. I appreciate your help on that. I just wanted to shout you out because, you know, you made it a lot easier for me to get this done. Because no one in El Paso is going to want to do any coding on this car whatsoever, especially the dealership. They do their best not to unless it's something standard uh, that goes against, that doesn't go against, you know, changing features or options. Most won't do it, at least here in El Paso. Now, the second option is coding. There are three coding features you have to change uh, as far as letting your, your, your vehicle know that you have side mirrors, power folding equipped, the side mirrors are fitted, and another option which gives the complete feature activated on the cluster, which will show um, when you're going through uh, the vehicle options, it will actually display power folding on or off when you lock and unlock the car. And that's what the coding's for. So when you lock your vehicle, they close. When you unlock your vehicle, the moment you pop open the door, they open. And we'll go through that as, uh, as I give you a little demonstration. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get this other mirror installed. Do a quick little test. Put everything and button everything up nice and neat. And you can go ahead and obviously get a good visual of what you'll be getting when you complete this uh, procedure. And I know I talked pretty fast. I guess I'm just excited. But before we go into that, let's go ahead and go into this mirror right here. Now, this mirror is not factory or stock in any way. I didn't buy these from a junkyard. This entire assembly is brand new. Minus this cover. This cover is not part of it. When you do buy these mirrors, it's going to come not painted. The base, the, uh, the insulation foam padding, the wiring connectors that plug into your factory location. A brand new motor assembly, which looks really good. And of course, um, it has the E63 standard uh, side marker. This one's an aftermarket, this cover right here. I just swap covers. But before we go into that, to explain this, this power folding option that I purchased cost $130. Well, $140 shipped for the passenger. And it's the same for the driver's side. The benefit to this setup being aftermarket, it comes with a 10-year warranty, which you cannot beat. A 10-year warranty, as long as it's not modified or altered in any way, which in this case mine is, minus the cover, but you can always swap them back when you ship them out for warranty. Hopefully they don't see this video. But other than that, that's pretty much what you, uh, you'll be getting. I wanted to update because my pig ears, is what I would call them, had the aer arrowed feature. I'm pretty sure you guys remember. They were carbon fiber. They looked really nice. These are better looking, in my opinion. I didn't want to spend 300 and something for the new cover of carbon fiber. I just stayed with the black. This is $180 for this cover for the pair, which will give you a whole cover with the arrow side markers and a floodlight, if added. So basically, we're already looking at $140 each side. If you go this route, this uh, cover will be in the description below. There's many options you can choose from that are already painted and this is already a factory obsidian painted so and it's a good they did a good a job on it so uh so i didn't have to pay additional for paint they already come pre-painted uh specifying on your factory color code which is awesome <clears throat> now with that with that being said we already have 140 each side 100 for the switch itself for the door and of course i spent 180 for the cover set so roughly, if I add everything together, I'm close to $600 on this modification alone. That is not cheap if you want to mimic exactly what I did. If you do not, you could just stay with the standard E63 uh, standard strip uh, side mirrors, which will just be 140 140 for each side. Pay the shop to paint them. They come with everything brand new, including a mirror, which we'll go ahead and show you real quick. I do have them over here. 
Here is the mirrors in question. Don't worry, they are covered, so they won't get scratched or damaged. Brand new. Good clips and everything fits amazing. And they're heated as well. So you get power folding and heated, you get the whole package and it's cheaper than buying a used one uh, on eBay, which they sometimes they sell for two to $300 for the pair, which is absurd for used parts. These are all brand new and they work phenomenal. They work just as factory with new components. So this is gonna be a good option for you guys if you guys wanna upgrade and kinda of give your uh, slightly aged uh, W211 a facelift. Now for the door panel, it's very simple to remove. It's pretty much just three uh, T30 Torx and a bunch of uh, retainer clips on each end. You just gotta pop out, take off obviously the top uh, locking knob, the cover that sits over here on the side, and it's just pretty much popping each end out and lifting straight up to relieve it from its resting spot on top of this uh, uh, this crease here. Now, changing out the, the switch itself is relatively simple, but be very careful. You don't want to damage any of these ribbon connectors as they are delicate if torn. They're going to peel back pretty much all of your insulation and you can tell some of this is glued with this insulation so when you're peeling back use caution you will have to remove pretty much all these 10 millimeter uh, nuts up top there's about five of them and one over here at the end this is the module for the seat controls this comes out first once you remove all the other three nuts this comes out second and you just un, uh, disconnect it. Well, actually, no, you don't have to disconnect it because the new one comes with a new line. And you just got to run it on these clips over here and just have it in place. So you can use it and connect it to the actual door control module that's located on your door. Other than that, swapping that out is relatively easy. Now, I'm not going to go in depth uh, as far as the coating. Uh, I am going to put a a how-to in the description below. There's going to be a link, uh, courtesy of James Fai. Uh, pretty much, he's the one who helped me and sent me his uh, pretty expensive scanner. At least it's not a cheap scanner. You will need a good scan tool, not just a standard OBD code reader. You will need something a little bit more advanced. Uh, and if you're not really familiar with coding, I suggest you get a professional to do it, or somebody who can uh, code it either via Altel or Star. Uh, at your local dealer. It's not a very uh, common thing to find as far as someone being able to help you with that. But like I said before, this is not necessary unless you really want to get it done. Go into your local indie shop, asking them about it, about their if they can do it for you. More than likely they will. I'm not sure on price. That's going to be based off of them. Uh, uh, if anything, you know, this is not a necessary step coding it to the vehicle because with the actual switch you buy, you can control it uh, from there. Uh, manually. So this is not necessarily uh, necessary <laughs> for the most part. Uh, now, on an added note, just so you guys know, if you have an 03 or 04, uh, pretty much early production 04s as well, mainly, um, the door frame might not fit the new uh, wheels. Uh, I had to do a little bit more digging and I did find out uh, supposedly the actual insert, the little hole, the indention in the door is shorter based on the 03s, meaning that uh, you probably have to swap out your entire door uh, uh, with a kind of a newer door in a sense. It has a newer uh, stamp, which the indention is more deeper. Uh, keep that in mind. So just double check, take off your side mirror, see how deep that goes uh, before you start uh, you know, buying parts. Do a little research on that yourself just to confirm on 03 and 04s only or early production 04s, late production 04s. I don't see that being an issue, but just double check just to be safe. Uh, All right, so here it is with using the key. Obviously when you unlock it, it's only gonna open when you open the driver door. Then of course, if we hop inside, you can use the switch as well.
So pretty much that is it. It is a very simple procedure other than the modifications to the door panels, which is something you can do with the proper tools and bits, drill bits, just to carve out your holes. This is something that most of you can do with confidence. You can get it done. Other than that, all my uh, parts and descriptions and items, including the, uh, the six bolts that I had to buy from a hardware store or in nuts and bolts place if you have one locally. So you can go ahead and uh, have the appropriate hardware with washers. I'll link that also in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. I'll be able to help you out with a quick response. Hopefully I've answered most of your questions when doing uh, this type of uh, modification. Again, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content that's coming out. This is not really a do-it-yourself channel, so I do apologize in advance for not going in depth with this procedure, but it is relatively easy. Any of you guys can do it with the right confidence, the right tools, and of course, someone to guide you, which will be me. I'll be more than happy to help each and every one of you um, and share some uh, of the data as far as what others have already done. This is this is pretty much not the first time and it will not be the last, but be confident in what you own, be appreciative of what you have. I'm grateful for what I have, family, uh, loved ones, and I am grateful for what I'm able to do with my available resources. I expect all of you to be grateful on what you own, never feel ashamed on what you have, and research, wrench, and persevere, my friends. This is Panzer. You guys take it easy.